Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia, and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Today is day nine. Day nine on hashtag one month in my Bujo challenge, and I'm going to do a little bit of a setup in here for today as well as a collage. And in order to do a collage, I thought I would do an unboxing of this Your Creative Studio subscription box. So I'm going to take everything out of here and then I'm going to take all the plastic off and then come back. All right, so day nine focus is going to be collaging so okay so i've done everything here we go first of all i should probably show you the little card from your creative studio and that shows everything that actually comes in the box oh sorry i have to put it down here <laughs> and then it looks like there are 13 items okay this is beautiful. A little bit of lace, a little crocheted piece. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's kind of like a like a cream color. It's not exactly white because the sun is kind of out. It looks a little bit whiter than it actually is on camera. Okay, so put that off to the side. My favorite part. <laughs> okay, these are going to be stickers. There you go. I love that. So these are great for collaging. Very simple. All you have to do is like tear it wherever you want and then it's a sticker so you don't have to use um, a glue stick or a tape runner, which is probably what I'm going to use when I <laughs> do all of this. A combination of the two. These are beautiful and they're so like spring and I love butterflies. Moths. These are gorgeous colors, I love them. Now I feel like I wanna use these to collage the inside of the cover of my my bullet journal instead of, hmm, I'm gonna collage something today, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, I had planned on collaging, gosh, this one's beautiful too, um, a spread for my, what is it called? For my vocabulary. But man, these would look really great on the inside of the cover of my of Mabujo, and these stickers are beautiful. Black and white, slightly transparent, so they'll go on any color of page and they won't. I don't like when they're completely white because uh, obviously in the 1917, the pages are cream and then it kind of looks kind of harsh and I don't care for that look. These are all beautiful, so put those off to the side. So I don't think these ones Vintage material paper. Okay, so these ones are not. Ooh, this is so cool. These are not stickers. They are actually perforated. Um. Okay, so let me. It looks like a puzzle. It's so cool. I've never seen this before. Do you see that? It's, it looks kind of like each one is a stamp. It's perforated just like that all the way across, just like a puzzle piece. This is so cool. Okay, I've never had anything like this before. That is very snazzy. I like it. Okay, I could do a lot with this. And there are eight pieces like this. That is so nice. And the texture of the paper is a little different too, which I like. Oh, you can see probably better on the back how it's perforated there. That is really nice. Gorgeous colors. I love anything that's earth toned. This one's more in like a, what is a stop sign? Is that an octagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, hexagon. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love that pop of blue. This is very vintage. Love it. This is so great. I don't know what this, this texture makes it feel like I don't know what kind of paper. I'm losing my words right now. This looks more like a, I don't know, like a rhombus. It's probably not picking it up very well because of the sun, but yeah, that's kind of a cool design. This is pretty too. 
Okay, so I'm going to try that out. I like that. That is really cool. Oh, this is great. Oh, so these are stickers. Okay, I thought it was vellum. Does it say on here? These are really pretty. They're kind of like washi tape stickers, as you can see. Um, very nice. And again, a lot of like spring type stickers. Mushrooms. <laughs> That's funny. Beautiful. Beautiful stickers. Okay. So I love, I love stickers. I'm so lazy about laying them down, but... Um, is this stuck together? What was I saying? I'm lazy about putting them down on the page, but this is just really nice. This is really easy to just pack away in like your utility pouch. I like these two, they're beautiful. So this is really nice. And these are just little ephemera, they're not stickers. I love anything that looks like postcards or like stamps. <laughs> That's my thing. These are beautiful. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun collaging with. So these actually have dates. Um, the furthest the date goes is, oh, so you have enough for a full month. That is so cool. So you could mark your month um, or your date with these if you wanted to. That's kind of snazzy. Maybe I'll save this for the next month and do all, all of the days in order since I've already started this month. And then, of course, this is little sheets of vellum that you can cut down. Again, I love anything that looks like stamps. These are perforated so that you can cut them into two. Okay, I didn't do the best job there, but <laughs> um, it definitely is perforated. That's cool. These ones have numbers on them also. Oh, no, just some of them have a number. Oh, and oh, I love when they do this. Okay, so like half of it is white and then the second half has more of a colored background, which is beautiful. Oh, there goes the sun. I might have to switch out again. It's so hard to film in winter time. <laughs> you cannot rely on the sun at all. This is beautiful. Hopefully this is not too harsh. I had to uh, brighten the camera real quick. Um, beautiful. Now we're moving on to this. These are always a favorite. They're just like little uh, tabs or tags that you can use. They are also perforated so this bottom portion comes off here. I love these. Uh, you can use these on a postcard or on you know happy mail to a friend. It's really great because you can stamp on this really thick paper and then put them in your uh, journal or your planner and not have to worry about uh, the ink going through your page. So I love those. I love these little boxes. I like to put other things in them. Okay. What are these? I think they might possibly be stickers. And I'm right, they are. Oh, sweet. Beautiful ephemera. Stickers, they're very vintage, love that. It looks like they give you a couple of each design. That is so great. I love these. And they're very small, which I appreciate about this subscription. Um, if you have like a passport size, these would fit nicely in there or even a pocket size. So it's really nice when you get some smaller pieces like this in case you don't have like a whole A5 uh, page to uh, you know, collage with, like I do, but very nice. Then we have a washi tape, which again, I am loving because it's perforated. I don't know where it starts. So this washi tape is very angry. It's kind of ripping as I unravel it. So I'm bummed about that because it's really pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it or not. It just looks like a stamp, which is exactly what I said I love. You can see there. So cute, I hope it works out, but maybe it's just getting it unraveled at first it might be an issue, I don't know. I hope it works out because it's really cute. And then we have some tags. 
which is again nice if you're going to be sending out a package or even if you just want to put labels on things. Oh, you just have some blank ones that you can stamp on. That's really nice. And they're actually different textures. So this one feels like it has like some type of coating on it, whereas this one just feels like regular um, paper. Like, beautiful. Oh, this one's nice. I like the edge on the bottom. So I get several of those. Does it say how many? I don't think so. In the back, maybe? Maybe in a different language it is. I don't know. Well, those are gorgeous. And the last two things are the cling stamps. And the pencil pouch. I love this little envelope. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Again, spring is in the air. And get some flowers. So these are really cute. I need to try to use them more in my bullet journal. I'm just so lazy about it. Those are really nice. And then the last thing is the pen pouch. Now this is very small but really cute. I love that. Uh, you could definitely actually, oh. Oh, I like the way the inside looks. And this side is slightly gusseted, do you see that? Which is really cute. Um, but I was going to say you could keep like a sewing kit in here. Just like a little one on the go. That would be really cute. I love it. Or just like some pins or something. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been on the go. Like obviously I don't travel anymore but it is basketball season and usually I do travel for basketball season overnight especially for state. And um, somebody needs like a safety pin. <laughs> so this would be like really cute for something like that if you didn't want to use it for you can put band-aids in here or something. But here is a friction colors that fits in there okay. Obviously the Tombow is not gonna work in here at all. But my glue stick fits. <laughs> so there's that. This is really cute. And I like it because I actually um I like the color. I wouldn't normally, you know me, I like only black, so I wouldn't normally buy something like that, which makes it really cute. And I like how the zipper comes all, not all, but halfway around so that you can open it up wider. That's really nice. Also, you could just keep some things that you ended up getting in this subscription box. So let's see, that fits in there. And you could put some of these in there and just have a little pouch for collaging on the go. That is really cute. And then of course you can also fit a pen in there. Look at that, very snazzy. All right, so I loved everything in here, including the washi tape, but I'm not sure that it's gonna work out. It's just like sticking and ripping, which makes me sad, Panda. Zero, nine, and today is Monday. So I think I'm going to do something I haven't done before, um, at least not in this series anyway. I think I'm going to set up for tomorrow because I don't have much really to do today other than stay home. Um, I think I'm going to set up over here for tomorrow. That way I can add things to the list for tomorrow instead of just adding them all on here and then just, you know, you know, I don't really forward things anymore. I just wait for... <laughs> Uh, my reflection day or review day rather to just go ahead and take care of open tasks. So I don't know how I feel about that. Should I just put everything I know I already need to do for Tuesday for this um, event? Or should I just, huh, I think I'm going to just write it down and add to both days at the same time. Is that crazy talk? I think if you're going to have a busy day and you know you're going to have a busy day, it's perfectly fine for you to do whatever works best for you. And I think what works best for me is to be able to add things to this page this day and this one as well. Okay, I'm in collage.
Okay, so here I am, all finished, said and done, and um, the stamp, I used this color, Desert Sand. It came out kind of light, and I kind of like it. It almost looks like it's um, pointillism. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of dots, so it is what it is. I was nervous. I didn't want to stamp it too dark, so um, I used a lighter color, and I also stamped on a pad first before stamping on here. You might be able to see slightly here. It kind of did a little bit of bleed through, but not too much that I can't see what's up here. So that works out um, okay. And I can write over the top of this if I want to, or it could just be in the background. It doesn't matter. But I think that this collaging spread is done. There's enough space for me to put um, some more to cheer, or to cheer, and again, I can write over the top. I do recommend using something like a felt tip pen or some type of marker when you're writing over stamps like this because if you use a regular pen sometimes at least in my experience depending on the pen it will pick up some of this and um, it will clog your pen <laughs> and that's the worst so I probably will either not write over the top of this or if I do it will be in like a in a Tombow like on the the felt tip kind of marker part or with a sharpie because I think sharpie pens uh, work nicely as well and that is everything all right how did this work out this is still not working it's still kind of pulling up a little bit oh that one worked but the next one's already ripping already shripping I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> it's already ripping I could add this here if I want yeah why not a little pop of color let's do it I get nervous about using a glue stick because sometimes I have to re-glue it. You probably saw a couple times I had to re-glue the edge of things. Um, I tend to do a tape runner because it's more permanent and it stays where it's supposed to so I appreciate that. I was like wiping the edges of some of these to get off some of the excess uh, tape so that the pages won't stick together but that's always a cause for concern. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I don't think I went too heavy on the layering, so I don't think I'll have too many issues filling bumps and what have you over on the next page that I'm writing. So that's good. So this was simple and easy. No biggie. Um, it took me all of, I don't even know, maybe 10 minutes once I chose what I was going to use. So not a big deal. And I think it looks really beautiful and natural, very spring esque <laughs> and I, I like to use more muted and natural tones. Tomorrow I will come back and show you the vocab that I went ahead and wrote in here and how I decorated it. I think I'm just going to write it straight in. I'm not really someone who doodles or anything like that. Um, I do have these three stamps that I could stamp a little bit darker if I wanted to but again because I'm using this page still and I'm going to be using this page for the rest of the week. I don't want to go with a very dark color. I do not like um, chalk based inks. These ones are dye based. See, dye ink. Um, just because they don't come out as crispy, this kind of didn't come out as crispy, but that's because I'm the world's best stamper and you guys know that if you've been following my channel for a while. I'm horrible at it. Anyway, all right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.